So your Substance Painter project doesn't feel quite right. It's not on par or even close to the renders you're getting in one of the many engines you might be using, whether that be Unreal, Unity, Marmoset Toolbag, Blender, whatever. It sucks. And you have no clue why. Your asset doesn't look as good in Painter as it does everywhere else. In fact, you may even feel like it's hard to get reliable results in Painter when texturing. Well, you're in luck. Because whilst you might not be able to get one-to-one -one parity with your target rendering engine, the solution to improving the overall quality of your viewport in Painter is actually really easy to solve. I'm going to walk you through a few simple steps that I begin with in every new Substance Painter project. I've had many questions about this, so I think it will be good to go over these. First, let's go to our shader settings. Here you'll see the biggest improvement take place and will undoubtedly improve your texturing experience. All we have to do is change the quality setting from low to ultra. Huge difference in the quality of the shader. Now, changing it from low to ultra will have an impact on your performance. So you'll have to find what suits your machine the best. But even going from low to medium shows a huge improvement already. So pick whichever is best for you and your machine. The next improvement comes by simply increasing the AO intensity to its full value. For some reason by default it isn't set to the full intensity of 1. Ideally we should be seeing the full effect of our baked AO, that is if you've baked one out. Here we'll gain some greater parity for free. Our next improvement is somewhat subjective. If we head on over to our display settings, we're able to view our HDRI environment map. By default, it's set to panorama. Personally, I always go with Studio Tomico. It has a really nice lighting setup and I find it's closest to my Marmoset toolbag setup. And I believe Unreal too. But you might want to play around with these to find your favourite and it is quite subjective. But if you really want to go the extra mile for parity's sake, I suggest importing the same HDRI in both Painter and your target rendering app as that will yield the best results. Next, let's change the field of view. Personally, I hate texturing with such a wide FOV. I feel it often distorts the asset and I can feel somewhat lost. And so my solution is to shorten our FOV by a lot to anywhere between four and 16. This enables me to effectively see more of the asset as a whole and I just have a much better time texturing. Again, this one is kind of subjective but it matches my camera settings in Toolbag, and I really like it. If you're feeling truly funky, just go orthographic, you freak. Now, our fifth improvement is another slight performance hit, and it's probably best saved if you're taking screenshots from within Painter, and that is to get rid of those dreaded jagged edges that we all hate. So let's scroll down in our display settings and activate temporal anti-aliasing to smooth out our edges. Ah. The next viewport improvement is to increase the quality of our anisotropic filtering, which by default is set to low. Now this is entirely optional, it just increases the quality of our textures at obtuse angles. You can really see the difference in the quality on the slide for example when we get real close at an angle. And that's it! Apart from increasing the quality of your document resolution, there isn't much else to do. But we're a long way from what your old project used to look like. I would absolutely love to see the results of your projects, so please don't be afraid to tag me on Twitter or even in my Discord, which I'll link below. Peace!